Hello everyone! So today's video is going to be about my experience one month on testosterone. I know some people are probably going to be a bit surprised by this because I don't think everyone on my channel knows that I'm trans, but I am, so <laughs> hi! Um, I'm non-binary more specifically. Definitely like trans masculine is my thing. <laughs> and I've been kind of thinking about going on testosterone for a pretty long time now, so I'm really happy that it's finally happening. I did film a another video kind of going more in depth about this and giving you guys a bit more context about my experience being trans and the different things that I want to get out of starting testosterone but unfortunately the file got wiped off of my memory card which is so so annoying and I don't have time to remake that video to give it to you first so I'm giving you this one first and refilming that video and giving it to you after so I will talk more about this um, in general in that video if that makes sense. I also just want to say I'm not wearing makeup because I've been wearing it for the past couple of days and I think it's kind of like irritating my eyes so I thought I better give it a rest. But anyway, aside from all of that I'm gonna let you know how things have been going on testosterone. So I'm currently taking Testogel and I'm on one pump a day which is a half dose. I just put one pump on my hand and then like put it on my shoulder and then wash my hands and that's it. So I'm on a half dose and I was meant to go on a full dose yesterday and a full dose is meant to be like the levels of tea that are in a cisgender man but I think I am pretty happy on a half dose to be honest so I'm staying on that. <laughs> I'm pretty comfortable with the half dose and kind of taking things a little slower because I also just want to like give myself time to adjust to everything even though like I want all the changes to happen right now I also I need a while to adjust to change so yeah I'm gonna start talking about the internal changes that I've been having and then I will move on to like the the beginning of the external changes <clears throat> that I've been finding sorry I think that's one of them like my voice has been doing like really weird stuff this past week, like going up and down and like breaking a bit and stuff. Um, yeah, so please excuse that, that's like really embarrassing. Anyway, so first thing I noticed in starting, and this was like for the first four days that I was on tea, I noticed that my hunger went right up and my thirst went up. I was like ravenous the first few days, it just like clicked I don't know it just suddenly happened and I was like so hungry all the time <laughs> that has settled down a bit since then it's more so now that just when I do feel hungry like especially in the morning it's just like a lot more intense but it's not it's not that I could eat like a shit ton of extra food it's just that the hunger is more intense in the moment I guess and it's like all I can think about is that I want food <laughs> which is not usually my thing like usually it's kind of subtle and sometimes it takes me a while to realize that I'm hungry like that that's what's wrong so yeah that's been interesting um, my thirst has continued to go up though I'm like drinking so much water now whereas before I like I don't know I had so much trouble drinking enough water and now it's like really easy I have been getting to sleep a lot faster and I've been like staying asleep and sleeping really deeply which has been amazing and that happened like pretty quickly as well before starting tea i had so much trouble with insomnia it's been like a thing that i've had for pretty much my whole life it like takes me hours to get to sleep and then i don't stay asleep like i keep waking up and then i wake up like really early in the morning even though i'm super tired so it's been like a really nice change just like falling asleep within like half an hour or something which is a miracle. I've also noticed that my mood has been a lot better and I've also had like way more confidence like even though I don't have many external changes yet like just knowing that the testosterone is like in my system hanging out doing its thing it like it's very affirming I don't know I don't know how else to describe it it's just a really cool experience. I have more energy so I find that like it doesn't take me as much time to recover from stuff and I can do things like like go further when I'm riding my bike. I go like a lot further now, which is really awesome because riding my bike is like one of my favorite things to do. It's so much fun. So being able to like do more of the thing I enjoy is really nice and really fun. And yeah, just having more energy in general and like more motivation is very cool. So the last internal thing is that I have not had any migraines yet since starting tea, which is pretty incredible because I usually get like 
two or three a month on average, sometimes a little less, sometimes more, but around that amount. So one of my migraine triggers is hormones around the time of my cycle and stuff, then I get migraines. I also get them just from like stress and other stuff as well. But I haven't had like any migraines around the time of my cycle this time, which is also really amazing. On that note, I am still getting my cycle, unfortunately. I'm glad that I at least didn't have any migraines to go along with it, because that just makes everything so much worse. So yeah, I'm, I'm happy about that. And hopefully, like I know I will still get migraines again in the future because Obviously, like, hormones aren't the only trigger for me, but I hope I at least get less. Also, because I know, like, the side effects that hormones can have was that it could exacerbate migraines, and I was really worried about that, but it seems like it's having the opposite effect so far, and it's actually helping with my migraines, so yeah, that's, like, super awesome. So now on to physical changes. I think the first physical change that I noticed was just that I've got some more spots, and that the places that I'm getting spots are, like different to the usual so I've started getting them like up around my jawline like around here um, and like my temples and the tops of my shoulders like just here and I don't usually get spots in those areas usually I get them like on my chin or my nose but it's it's been manageable so far like it's it's not a big deal like it's a little bit annoying but it's I'm not really that bothered by it it probably will get worse as time goes on because I know it usually does for people and I'm prepared for that to happen and yeah I think it'll probably be worth it to be honest I I get kind of excited when I find that I've got like a new spot because I don't know it just means that the tea is doing something it's working so I don't really mind at this point okay one weird thing that I've noticed is that I've been getting more freckles on my hands specifically like I first noticed it with this hand and I don't know like how well you can see details like that because they're not that noticeable but I really noticed it like I don't know here let's see it on that hand maybe I don't know but yeah I, I just looked at my hands and I'm like hang on a second I've got all these freckles where did they come from because like I get freckles on my face or I used to I don't think I really do anymore like they've all faded quite a lot but I've, I've never had that many freckles on my hands and then all of a sudden have them and I looked it up and apparently that is a thing like any kind of sharp hormonal change can like cause skin changes like freckles and moles and stuff like that I've always had freckles so it doesn't really make much of a difference to me I think I will just like mention it to my endocrinologist though just to make sure everything's okay <laughs> all right now I'm gonna talk about body hair so nothing super significant has happened but a few little things have and I really want to bring them up so First thing is that I have this little black hair that's come up on my shoulder and when I first saw it I thought it was an eyelash that like fell onto my shoulder and I went to like take it off like brush it off and I realized that it was attached um yeah so I've got like one little baby shoulder hair that's been hanging out and then I think like a day or two later I noticed that I also have a little dark hair that's come up on my hand and I think there is like no way that you're gonna be able to see it but it's like right there and it's like a different texture to my other body hair so that's kind of interesting oh and I also had I think like two or three of the same kinds of hairs come up on my chin I'm gonna say that it's facial hair but <laughs> that's like wishful thinking I think I do think I'm seeing like the very small beginnings of a snail trail starting which I'm super super happy about like I'm really excited because I really want a snail trail just I don't know I really like them they look nice and I just feel like I'm meant to have one so that'll be cool when that eventually comes in like I know it'll take a while but just seeing like the very faint beginnings of it is really cool and then also the last thing is just like my peach fuzz because I mean I think most most people have a bit of peach fuzz somewhere like I've always had it here like on my face it has like just very slightly changed like I think it's gotten like a little bit longer or thicker denser I don't know it just seems like there's more of it than there used to be so that's it for body hair and now the last thing I'm going to talk about is my voice so the first changes that I started noticing with my voice which even now they're extremely subtle like I don't think anyone really notices them except for me but the first time like I noticed any kind of change was just when I was talking it wasn't that it like sounded different but it just like it felt different 
it's like it, it vibrated on a different level or something. I don't know, it just felt different, <laughs> even though it pretty much sounded the same. And I first started noticing like that my voice sounded just slightly different now and then. It was mainly when I was projecting my voice a bit more. Lately I've been noticing that like it also comes on when I'm talking quite quietly, so it's like really cool hearing that when I'm speaking pretty softly, I guess. There's just like patches throughout the day where it changes and it sounds a bit different and like has a bit more of a gravelly quality to it. I kind of have that a tiny bit at the moment, but not as much as I did earlier, but it's really cool. I've never experienced that before, so I'm like 99% sure that it's from tea and it's really cool because I wasn't expecting to have any kind of voice changes like this soon, especially on a half dose. I don't know, it just seems really quick. I think it's the thing that I'm the most pleased about so far is like those little voice changes here and there. But that is all of the changes that I've had so far. Um, so I will keep you updated. I am planning to continue to post these like once a month. And then I guess maybe like when I go off tea because I'm not planning on staying on it forever, then I will probably also do update videos about each month that I've spent since going off tea, if that makes sense. Because like some changes do regress when you go off it, so I will probably keep you updated on that as well because I feel like there's not really enough videos out there on like non-binary transitions and going on and off tea and stuff, so I would really like to contribute to that, I guess. Yeah, but we'll see how it goes. Yeah, but anyway, so that is it for me. So thank you for watching and being with me through this very big, exciting time. It feels that way for me, like I'm, I'm super stoked about all of this. So I hope you guys have a very happy Christmas and Yule or just a happy weekend if you don't celebrate any of this stuff. I just hope that you're doing good wherever you are. I don't know when this video is going up, hopefully soon. I don't know. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time.